and Adobe Illustrator. At first, we've got the smart guides and snap the point activated, and we need the rectangle tool. Just left click, and we'll make the 100 in width, which is 100%, and the height doesn't play a huge role. I make it 25. It's going to fit my design well. I'll drag a copy out of it, holding Alt with the selection tool, and then I press Control D two times to have it copied. I'll give that a gray fill. I need to copy that group, so once more, selection tool holding Alt, and we know this has a width of 100 pixels. Under window, you can find your properties menu if you don't see it. And now we can type in the values that we have. Let's say our first data set has 75%, the second one has 50. So you can see I just adjust the width in the properties menu for the second group of rectangles. And I'll leave the height unadjusted. Now I'll change the fill color for these four rectangles. Let me make the last one blue. That should be fine to show you the effect. And now I drag the right group and put it to the left. So it needs to be exactly at the end position on the left hand side of the left group. So I just drag them with the selection tool and I hold shift when I do that. That helps me a little bit in positioning them. So this is what we need and we need to create art brushes out of it. Let's go to window and open your brush menu. It's called brushes, not just brush. And then click on new brush once you've got it selected and select art brush. Just keep the defaults and we know this is the Artbrush 1. I'll repeat the process and it's automatically adjusted to Artbrush 2, 3 and 4. Always make sure that you've got Artbrush selected so that it's the same. Alright, so we've got our four brushes. Let me make that a little bit bigger, you can see that. We need them later on. So now it's time to create the circle and we'll use the ellipse tool for that. And we'll make that 250 for height and width. That should be a good value to start. We need a second one that should be smaller, so 50 50 for height and width. I'll select them both and use the top menu to center them. Now I swap the colors so that I have a stroke and a fill, and we need two more in the center. A good way to do that is to use the blend option. So just go to your blend options and object, specified steps, we need two more, so two. Press OK and then object blend and make. Now we need to expand it, and object and then ungroup it. So now all of these rings are individual elements, ungrouped. Select the first one and click on your first art brush. Second one for the green, third for the orange, and the last one for the red. And this is how you can create that. And now we can resize that. We can rotate it, hold shift when you do that. And you can also reflect it. So just right click, transform, reflect. And that way you can reposition the colored elements in this bar chart circle. Let me resize that. And you can see it makes the gaps a little bit bigger. So keep that in mind. And this is how you can create this circle bar chart in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.